The Maltese vegan. Got a box from the veg box again. Got a kilo of carrots, handful of small peppers. Look at them, they're so cute. And I bet you they're really delicious. Nice, small, organic eggplant. And I also got some organic celery head over there in the fridge already. Awesome, so I found these at the supermarket. First time I ever saw them anywhere in Malta. Might not be a novelty if you're from America, maybe from, from Australia, but they are for me. They're called purple or blue potato. So this is what they look like. Like a couple of turds. <laughs> we'll see what they look like inside. Ooh, I don't know if they if the color is clear enough, but there's a really really deep purple. Not like the band but the color. Can't wait to dig in. I heard they're very creamy. Gonna slice them up into quarters and roast them in the oven. Not gonna make too many because I've already eaten almost 3,500 calories. Just gonna try them, I'm gonna make a feast of them tomorrow. And that's all I'm having. In fact, it's not just because of the amount of calories, because that it usually doesn't bother me that much. But um, it's supposed to be off the beds and I shouldn't be eating. Uh, so late. Tomorrow I've got a bike ride, so I want to wake up bright and early. There they are, and into the oven they go. Bye bye! So that's it. They look burnt, but that's because they're really dark. Gonna dig in? I'll let you know what they taste like. The verdict there's just in. They're nice, earthy, crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, delicious purple potato. Mm -mm. No salt, no sauce, no oil, just the way nature intended, except for cooked. <laughs> delicious. Feasting on, I think about half a kilo of potato already at one serving. I'm gonna have the rest over here. Delicious. I'm gonna post below a link to a really good uh, sauce that you could use um, to to flavor the potato itself, and you just dip them in the sauce and put them in the oven. So they have this really nice, crispy, flavorful, hint of sweetness taste. Bean burritos. Matched some beans, white beans. Got them out of the tin. You could boil your own uh, beans, but that takes too long for me and I'm making this for lunch, so gotta get ready soon for work. Chop some red bell pepper. I'm sorry, it's actually morning, but um, it's actually getting pretty dull outside. Quite cloudy, I'll show you later on. And that's why I had to turn on the flash so that you can see better. So I've now chopped the onions, chopped the tomato, and chopped a couple of uh, mushrooms. This recipe is just for two, so obviously, well, the charging cable is in the way. Um, it's for two, so so you probably have to, obviously have to double the amount if it's for four, etc. You know, you know the math. So this recipe also requires a number of uh, spices, and uh, well, in fact, it just requires Cajun um, spice mix. But since I don't have any, I looked up the ingredients that make up Cajun spice mix, and I'm just gonna be adding them a bit randomly. But I've got oregano, chili flakes. Cane pepper, black pepper, 
uh, garlic powder, smoked paprika, onion flakes, supposed to use onion powder, and uh, thyme. So I've got the water boiling instead of oil. I'm gonna put in my red pepper and onion. So there I've got the peppers and the onions cooking. Uh, as you can see, probably they're caramelizing. If you're using oil, I'd use I'd give it about three minutes. Um, since I'm using water, I give it about five minutes. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. It's quite chunky. It's supposed to be minced, but I don't really don't have time because I'm really late late for work. And then the mushrooms and the tomato. The one mistake which I always do is I always leave the the temperature on high and things tend to not get cooked as as well as I, as I wish so just remember to keep it about medium high or maybe medium um, so I've got to add the Cajun mix and as I told you I'm in a hurry so I'm gonna wing it a bit and just throw a bit of everything as I said oregano doing this single-handedly also that's how much I love you guys although I'm getting late to work that's cane pepper now it's garlic powder some thyme which is what I don't have. Pepper. Some paprika. And finally, my replacement for onion powder, which is onion fix. So all I have to do now is mix it a bit and cover it for two minutes. So back to the bean burrito filling, uh, the bean part of it. Uh, all we have to do is, after having mashed it up, is to add a uh, quarter lime, the juice of a quarter of a lime, and uh, some more. Cajun mix. So I've put the spice mix. One point I wanted to make is that um, the Cajun spice mix actually requires to have salt in it, but especially since I'm using tinned uh, beans, I'm not putting any sauce at all in the whole entire recipe. We want to minimize our salt intake after all. So I've mixed this really well. Now I'm just going to draw a rough line because I'm having two burritos, so it's half and half. And now it's just combining everything together. Okay, so I just warmed the wrap um, slightly in the microwave, 10 seconds on low. And just gonna add first half of the beans and then half of this mix. That's the combined mixture. And now it's just a question of rolling it up. Hopefully I don't mess things up over here. So that's the first one done. One thing I forgot to mention that you could also add a uh, steamed sweet potato in this, but seeing as I don't have enough time, this time I'm not gonna do that, unfortunately. And there it is, two huge bean burritos, and I'm actually dying to eat them, and it's still morning, so gotta hold tight. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and click the subscribe button below if you want to keep watching my videos.